Listen up. This is a story. <laughs> it's not a story. Okay. So, those of you on Twitter who participated in this little exercise, you know what this is. Morgan does not, however. Uh, I said this was somewhat of a su surprise. We were doing a project today, and I figured we could film another video. So, what this is... Me breaking my neck. I will reveal what this is to Morgan with the first slide. Actually, wait. L look at that wall. It's a good wall. <laughs> Keep staring at it. I approve of the orange. Uh, I, I do too. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice Clementine. Comforting. <laughs> Clementine. Uh, cause Joel and Clementine. Oh, my Dorman. Dor Dorman. Dormammu. <laughs> I've come to bargain. Okay, it might as well. Oh wait, it's loading now. Okay. Morgan is finding out whenever my computer decides to load. The anticipation is killing me. All right, you can look now. <laughs> <laughs> so what this is okay is i asked all of my twitter people and just just various everybody uh you all who are in my my twitter group chat you know who you are uh shout out to all of you uh dank thomas hipster llama i i remember your names um uh he forgot all I, of you because everybody has weird twitter names i forget if i forgot you i'm sorry luke you're one of them, Luke. Uh, Fox Mulder, you, com you contributed a lot to this. Because uh, she's cool. She likes the Marvel boys. And we're going to rate. This is bad. Okay. This is my so, kind of deal. What we're going to do is I asked who the film Waifus and Husbandos both mm -hmm. were for everybody. And it could be a film character or an actor mm -hmm. or a filmmaker, but nobody picked those. So, and I added a couple into my own, into the own mix. It's a steady mix of characters and actors. And we are going to do a rating, one to five, brief thoughts. I believe there are 40 of them. So, it, it won't, won't be that long, but I saw this somewhere. I, I, there's, who, what YouTuber did I see doing this with anime people? I don't know, but, all right. First one, Sebastian Stan, baby Mark Hamill. Mm-hmm. Okay. Out of five, what do you give Sebastian? Yeah, I'd give him a five because he's a hunk, but I hate Bucky. <laughs> I, really... I want to see you and Fox Mulder fight about that. Ooh, the plot device. Good. Oh, um, I don't hate Bucky. I, I'm sure I would love him if he had any character. Um, you got a bit of a point there. Uh, I will give I Sebastian. Know. And it's just Sebastian, it's not Winter Soldier, so, you know. Uh, I'll give Sebastian a, a, a solid four and a half. Mm -hmm. Not quite perfect, but you know what, that gi it gives him it gives him his charm. He looks like Mark Hamill, I like him. That butt cut he got in that picture is pretty good. <laughs> I like that jacket, too. He looks <laughs> like he's trying out for Baby Driver. <laughs> Alright, number two. Jenna Malone. Five. <laughs> yes. And then I see, I tried to think of, because this is one of mine, mm -hmm. yeah, obviously, but I was just like, which is funny, because a lot of the people picked ones that I would have picked, but I was like, should I just pick a Jenna Malone character? And I was just like, well, they're all hot. <laughs> so it was really not point, and I just picked basically like the best picture that I could find of all of them. And, and the Neon Demon one is like, uh, yeah, you got to see things in that. I like blood. <laughs> if you're into that, Neon Demon is for you. Um, but surprisingly, I, the, the picture I found here was blonde, which I'm not big into blondes, but this I was just like, take me away, yeah, Gretchen Ross. All shapes and sizes of Jenna Malone, all shapes, sizes. Colors. Even in Batman v Superman, she had those glasses on and it was like, oh god, I am physically unwell. Well, mostly because you were watching Batman vs. Superman. I was just looking up pictures of her and the stuff that got cut out. All right, next we have Idris That'll Elba. Be a five. <laughs> Idris Elba. My Elba's. good... Oh. <laughs> you got yourself. Sorry. <laughs> it's funny. But, I mean... Yeah, five. Yeah. Um... Look at, look at the smile. Ooh, he, looks, he just looks friendly. And then, he, like, I went back and... I watched the first season of The Wire, which is the thing that, like, made him famous. 
He's really good in it, mm-hmm. but it's just he looks younger, and it's just like, you look like a baby. Look at you. But he's just such a nice man. And was wasted as Roland. Yeah. Like, that is such a good casting. I mean, so, bo- both uh, Matthew McConaughey and him were great casting choices that that movie wasted, but... I have never seen him in something that, like, where I haven't liked him. I would like him to ravish me. <laughs> I believe you. Five. Five. Brie, Brie Larson is... God, you found the best picture you could have. <laughs> my number one celebrity crush. Above all. <laughs> I love her. Uh, in the group chat, I called her my wife. Just because you can't prove that she's not right now. And she's terrific. You know, I don't suppose I can, but I feel like I would have heard about it by now. You would have. Riz Ahmed. <laughs> uh, Three. Ooh, harsh. Yeah, I, he, he's, he's, he's cute. Well, it's mostly just a guy can't get over the tentacles. Oh. Yeah. Is that <laughs> from Rogue One? Yeah. That's Forrest Whitaker's fault, not his. Uh, well, he was involved. <laughs> That hentai, though. I mean, just, it's also tarnished Forrest Whitaker. Glad he's not on here. Lies! Deception! Jim! Jim! Uh, well, luckily the thing I saw him in last was The Night Of, which he's precious in. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go solid four. Yeah. Solid four. I don't know, he's not bad at all. No, not at all. He's He's got good eyes. He's a snack. But, he's know. a snack. Ooh. This one was mine. Total Ooh. confession. Yeah. Yeah. Amber Rose Riva as Madani in The Punisher, which... Such a five. I'm gonna go four and a half. And this is her character, not her. As per- I, this is the only thing I'd ever oh, seen this woman in. Oh, the character? Yeah. Like four. I'd, I'd still go five. I, yeah. lo- I love Madani. She kicks ass. Yeah. She gets results. And she, like, I kind of wanted her to do a little bit to, to Billy there in the end. Because <laughs> when it's just like, he had sex with you after he murdered your partner. Mm-hmm. Do not, do not behave that way. Do not treat her like that. She deserves better. I mean, to be fair, if you had a... What's his name? I don't remember. Jigsaw. Not Billy Russo, the actor. Ben Barnes. If you had Ben Barnes up next, I'd be like that to five. <laughs> that is a snack and, and she's, a half. She's got brown eyes and she's... Oh, she's beautiful. David Harbour. Oof. Uh, in any context. Uh, four, well, and four and a half. Okay. Four and a half. In Strong any, nine. In any normal context, four. As Jim Hopper? Yeah. As Hellboy, five. Yeah. Like <laughs> yes. As Hell as Hellboy, the highest possible rating mm-hmm. you will accept. But, uh, 4.5. Yeah. Funny. Yeah, I like the dad bod. And he's just, he's just got a friendly face. Yeah. I like him. But he gives great hugs. Oh my god, he totally does look like he's a... That's five. five. Yeah. I mean, Donnie Tankis. Yeah, like you had to clarify who that was. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like this is everybody's favorite actor because he's great at his job and he's really attractive. I got a... He's also my favorite actor for further clarification. I found a, something in like my explore section on Instagram and it was like a picture of him in Everest. With oh that yeah! Really long hair and that full beard, and he had no shirt on, and I was like, "I am. <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> I'll be in my I'll bunk." Be in my bunk. <laughs> but yeah, um, t- ten, ten out of ten. Oof. Wood. <laughs> Anything. He gets me all flustered. That's yeah, five. five. Yeah. I fe- and it's just, I went out of my way to find the cutest possible picture of Daisy Ridley. Dude, you gotta. You gotta throw. You gotta throw me a curveball every now and again. Don't worry, I have them uh, saved. I got more. most of these are from other people. Oh. So I I I was only for for part. There's got to be like a two or a one in here somewhere. <laughs> Michael Keaton is Batman. Okay, as Bruce Wayne specifically. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's like a two. Ooh. And not fond of those movies. Uh, I'm more fond than you are, but less fond than most. Uh, as Bruce Wayne, three. Batman, four and a half. Yeah, Batman at two. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I don't know. He's, also, I just, I, I, like Bruce, I like Bruce Wayne with, the, like, a turtleneck. 
Yeah. It's like what he wears. However, Michael Keaton in Birdman or Spider-Man. Five. That's four and a half. Five. Yeah. In Birdman, he's a five. Spider-Man, he's a four and a half. Tess Thompson. Ooh. Ooh. So, uh, so, so mixed. Uh. I just don't know. Well, yeah. <laughs> wow! You said it. Not in the way that you're thinking. <laughs> well, okay. So, like, the whatever her character was, in, Valkyrie. Yeah, five. Oh, uh, alcoholic uh, badass. Yes. Yes, please. She was Jessica Jones in space. Alcoholic badass and a snack and a half. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Outside, that's a really good picture. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. I'm going to go four, just because I'm not crazy familiar with her. Uh, I, I get four of both. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. But she, that's just... She's, she's, she's a fine-ass woman. Mm-hmm. She's a nice, she's yes. nice lady. Yes, true. Uma Thurman as Beatrix Kiddo in Kill Bill, which is funny because this is the only time I think I could just unequivocally consider Uma Thurman to be hot. Yeah. Any other movie, I'm just kind of like, she's yeah. she's fine, yeah. I guess. Me sitting here on my throne of gold, because, you know, I'm a perfect-looking Adonis. I mean, you're allowed to have opinions. Yes. I mean, that's what this is for. But uh, in this, like, solid four. Well, like, any time she's, like, any time in the last 15 years, most of the time I'd say she's hot. Fair. I do not find her attractive I, in Pulp Fiction. No. I'm I, I'm fond of her when she's older. There there's some older ladies on this list that uh oh yeah they did a good job. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, I'd I'd give her a solid solid four normally, and when she's in an action scene, like a seven. <laughs> you know, I'd give her a three. Mm. When she's like as Beatrix Kiddo. You're talking about me. You're yes, uh, my mother gets a forty-five out of ten. You know, I, I try. I really do. I'm a good boy. Oh, thank you. Oh. We're good boys. I, I try less than him. <laughs> you know he's not a good boy? Who? Uh, um, freaking Bill. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, is that Keith or David? David? David. I think. Yeah. Is it? I don't him? know. It's the dead one. Yeah. <laughs> the, him. I think it's David. <laughs> okay. David Carradine. Um, yeah, David David Carradine's not a good boy. But, you know, as Uma Thurman gets older, we get more like... It's like Kate Blanchett. Typically, I would I would say three, but, you know, we get to that part with the... Stop fucking around with these... <laughs> That's a three and a half. <laughs> Fair. And the five. Margot Robbie. Yeah, uh... Not conventionally my type like she is just no, the epitome of like mainstream idealized beauty mm-hmm. but she's so pretty <laughs> and like any interview you see she's like so wonderful immaculate and so nice mm-hmm. so nice but and like, there's a video where she does ASMR. I need to see I, Tanya. Yeah. really yeah and i don't like asmr at all but i was like i'll listen to this <laughs> she does asmr but as her character in wolf of wall street <laughs> All right, it's chapter one. <laughs> All right, it's chapter one, Phil. <laughs> okay. But yeah, like four and a half. Mm. Eva Green is Vesper Lind in Casino Royale. Sh- shall we do it in, like, like harmonize it? Yeah. One, two, three, five. five. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, Eva Green in pretty much anything. Literally anything. But this was, like, my first time. She doesn't even have to look good. (laughs) I mean, she doesn't even have to try. She shows up and it's just like, hello, I'm Eva Green, I'm here. It is I. (laughs) It is I. Uh, And she was the best part about the 300 sequel. She was awesome in that. I did not see that film. It's completely unremarkable other than her. A really weird sex scene, I know that. from Also, um, internet research. Sin City 2. Whoa. <laughs> Fantastic. And that one movie where it has that really cool shot where she looks like the sculpture because she's wearing the black gloves. 
What mo- I don't know what movie that is. The sculpture. Yeah, she looks like a like she has she's wearing black gloves and there's a black background. So it looks her like her arms are cut off and you just see like her from the waist up. It's a really cool shot. It's the oh, that's Dreamer, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Bertolucci movie. Yeah, that one. That one. She is naked a lot. In that movie. It, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's it's better than fine. <laughs> well, not to mention her. She's another person who every time I see in interviews, just so pleasant. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought it's like I thought most of you were supposed to be like kind of douchebags, but you yeah. know, when you're not high on yourselves, it's pretty yeah. nice. It's a good time. Lupita Nyong'o. Maz cannot have five. <laughs> <laughs> um, a solid four. It's like, so you sure he can do it? Oh, yes, he can do anything. <laughs> then the and Rose are just... <laughs> I don't know why she said it like that. Yeah, she's got a lovely smile. Where's my boyfriend? <laughs> Chewie's out with the falcon. That's my favorite line. Movie. I love that Wookiee. I love that Wookiee. Yeah, three. I like I three like and a half. And she was she was pretty pretty amazing in Black Panther. She was cool. Yeah, underutilized. Yes. Zoe Saldana as Gamora. You know what? Yeah. The gr- the green does not make make me like her any less. Uh, like solid three and a half. Yeah, like two and a half. Mm. She's mean. She scares me. I mean, I can get that from mean sister woman. She, I mean, she scares me too. Yes, in in real life, however, Ooh. Karen Gillan. <laughs> she she's fine. Sybil Shepherd is Betsy in uh, Taxi Driver. Well, hmm. speaking visually, five. Character wise, four. Because she looks like uh, Rachel Keller. <laughs> I did not I ever think of that. Well, I just thought of it now because I watched an episode of Legion last night. New one? No. Oh. I'm not caught up. Yeah, apparently there was a new one last night, yeah. and I, I need to catch up too because it's like the best show. Well, anyway, Rachel, Ke- Rachel Keller is a freaking snack and a half. So Snack. Snack. Uh, but yeah, I just, I don't, I, she's got nice hair. Yeah. I don't know what, what other way to say it. It's just like whenever, it's like that scene from, uh, is it? 50 first dates were out of Sandler's like, you blew away! Like, whenever Robert De Niro takes her to the theater yeah. in that movie, that's what I turn into. Yeah. You blew away! It's like, you had one job! I don't know, as a character, she's just like a... She just kind of serves to prop up. Yeah, I mean, it's a plot device. Yeah. She serves as fine. She, she yeah. acts so well. She's cool. I... I love her! Shoot <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll go four. She's, have you followed her on Twitter? No, I don't She's have, just I don't have so, Twitter. oh, that's right. She's just so pleasant. She's always just like, you can do your best. I'm like, thanks, honey. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> just like Letitia Wright, I love you. Okay. And, and it's just, when she's Shuri in Black Panther, I just immediately, when I saw her in the trailers, I was just like, you're What are you those? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't. I don't care I don't, if that's Mimi. It's still I funny to I me. I don't care if it's the deadest meme. <laughs> it's Guadados. Well, and she's just got she's got the smart thing going for her. The yeah. Smart girl. <laughs> I like if a girl have that smart thing. <laughs> that smart. But smart. but like but like the kind of smart that's just like I know more about everything than you do, and I'm just like I'm intimidated, but also I'm very all right with it. Yeah. Steve Buscemi. <laughs> um, five. five. I mean, honestly, he was not bad looking when he was younger. No. Like, uh, I mean, even Reservoir Dogs era Steve Buscemi is kind of all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I kind of think of that's... Tim Roth as the spiritual successor to Steve Buscemi as, like, younger, good-looking guy who gradually, like, morphed into a li- like what looks like a living meme. I don't know about that. Tim Roth looks exactly the same as he did in Reservoir Dogs. Uh, uh, he looks a bit older. It's, well, it's, yeah. It's, it's noticeable. But Steve, Steve here, he was in a... Who was he in a bar fight with? I don't know. He was in a bar Someone fight with somebody. Cool. Yeah, and like... Well, we have to cover up that scar he has every yes. time. It seems pleasant. Mm-hmm. Like, every, like, I see him doing, like, late night... 
things like sketches for like comedy shows and stuff and there's also like what up fellow teenagers <laughs> how do you do fellow kids <laughs> it's just got that voice you just hear him and it's just like that's steve yeah that's, that's steve. him that's, steve that's my boy i don't accept waitresses that's steve buscemi out of five mm-hmm. Willem Dafoe is Bobby in the Florida Project. I, I have not seen that film. <laughs> you don't need to. That's all you need. Um, Willem Willem Dafoe. First of all, he was quite handsome when he was younger, especially in a movie called uh, Light Sleeper that was directed by Paul Schroeder. Schrader. Schrader. Scorsese screenwriter. Oh, Schrader. Yeah. Yeah, Schrader. And he's Paul very good in that. Paul Schroeder. Schrodinger's cat. Paul Schroeder. Um, you know, so normally Willem would get like a solid like like three and a half for me. And apparently he's just like, apparently he's just really good in this movie. I'll have to mm-hmm. take your word for it because I haven't seen it quite yet. But, you know, I'd go, I'd go three, three point two five. Between three and three and a half. Yeah, I mean, I'll go like. He's got really blue eyes. I'll give him that. Like two and a half to three. Got them blue. Unless blue we're talking blue about eyes. John Wick and then five. Yeah. <laughs> Everything in John Wick. Yeah. Um, Is Keanu anywhere on this? No, you unfortunately. Failed. You failed. That should have been one. I, I feel. Well, between, we, can, we can settle it now. Five. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, between me and Fox Mulder, I don't know why. Yeah. Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, he weirds me out. Like he's, he's weird. <laughs> he is weird, but he's a girl. Like, I love him in everything. Outside. He's a strange man. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll just settle and be like three. Cause... He makes me deeply uncomfortable. It's like a one and a half to two. <laughs> he always plays like really quiet, timid people because he just is that. But I think he's more of the quiet, timid person that he would he's going to be. And um, you know, uh, you were never really. Yeah. Good. Like he's probably got picked to play that role because you know. Of course, if I see that, and then you know come back to this we'll probably be like that's a seven yeah i mean five we're gonna come back that that is getting a car review <laughs> you betcha Haley steinfeld is that, nadine that's just 17 that's like a, like well 17 mm-hmm. out of five uh Haley steinfeld in any context is a five Haley steinfeld is her own scale yeah Haley stein my rating is Haley steinfeld and a Haley steinfeld yes uh Translates who, to like a ten out of five. Uh, the LP Club. You were the guy who picked this. Good choice. I wouldn't. I almost forgot. The LP Club. I feel like I've seen his videos. Yeah, you probably have. Yeah. You're good. You make good videos. Daniel Day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a typo. Do you? Have... I typed Daniel Dab Lewis. That's not a typo. Those letters are so <laughs> far apart. That's not. No, not really. In, like, you cannot be further apart on a keyboard. Unless you're, like, Q to M. I, I don't know, man. I don't type like normal people. You did it on purpose, because it was funny. Sure I did. Because I because I know. Daniel Dab Lewis. It's funny. It's not <laughs> is, it, is it? No. That's why it is. Oh, okay. But, yeah, in this hey, picture... Hey, I've never seen him with that hair before. Man, he looks like a womp. <laughs> stubble. <laughs> Womb. A stubbly womb. <laughs> stubbly womb out of five. Oh my god. I should never leave the house. <laughs> oh. You were never really here. I don't know, like a three. Uh, in this photo, like, f- 4.5. In most things, this is a three. <laughs> Lincoln Daniel Day. <laughs> That's a five. President. Give it up for President Abraham Lincoln. Robin Wright as Princess Buttercup in uh, yeah. The Princess Bride. Hmm. Um, Two and a half, three. I'll say two and a half because she's the least interesting character in that movie. Yeah. Robin Wright's a five, Buttercup's a well, one. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not crazy about Robin Wright. You're like, wrong. Like pre-2000. Anytime, okay. Anytime after she's that. House of Cards. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh, yeah. All Carrie right, Ellis. so that's a seven out of five. Four. That four is, out of five. That is good. See, there was my intentional joke. That's that's good stuff. <laughs> Into Pimp a Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even notice. <laughs> 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 oh, 
that that didn't what make the hell sense. is wrong with my dog? Oh, <laughs> sexy, <laughs> delicious. Oh my gosh. We should probably get placed out the outdoors. Outdoors. But yeah, Carrie, Carrie Elwes is a he's, good boy. He's tasty. And finally, Billy <laughs> Crystal is Miracle Mats. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to this. <laughs> Billy Crystal <laughs> out of Miracle Max. <laughs> they just made a good, they did a great job at making him look so old. Good job, Cody. Let's go down and see you. Liar! <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Away, wench! He's got a droopy nose. Oscar Isaac. Not, not, not Poe Dameron, Oscar Isaac. Do I even need to say it? Five. Yeah. It's, I, I'm going to be honest. He's got a four and a half face, but he's got <laughs> six hair. Mm -hmm. Good God. It's like a, really a creamy bowl of oats right there. I have that. <laughs> it's a creamy bowl of Hall and Oats. I have to eat that for bread. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just this picture. Yeah. Just here, the thick boy himself. Remarkable, his remarkable breasts. <laughs> I feel like that's why the movie got the PG-13 rating. Yeah, really. He's just so Partial oddly shaped. <laughs> and his pants come up. So he's like a senior citizen. He's like my Uncle Walt. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Kylo Ren as a character is Five. literally the best Star Wars character. Yes, he is. And my favorite. Uh, Adam Driver... Is also I don't know why I differentiated five. Um, so shirtless. Uh, God bless. I mean, can we get like it's two and a half for each peck? Yeah. Just the pecs. The only reason this looks weird is because his pants. <laughs> but it makes it so beautiful. Yeah. Isabel Hubert. 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 I, 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 Thomas. I'm sorry. I couldn't pronounce her name. Uh, but she's a redhead and she's fine, so four. I'm gonna go four just because I'm unfamiliar. Dank Thomas is a foreign film boy, so I'm assuming that Dank she's... Thomas is foreign. He is. Yeah. I watched his April Fool's video and I was like, oh my god, your voice. Oh, my your god. tweets for so long. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson as Samantha in her. <laughs> so just Scarlett Johansson's voice. Well, that's a five. Five. Yes, absolutely. I would love to well, have my own. As the character, like, four for confusing me. Did You saw her? No. Oh. I'm just vaguely familiar. Oh. Um, I know somebody, like, sticks their wiener in a actually, hard drive or something. That's, that does not happen. Well, somebody lied to me in the parents' guide section. No, it's the, um, the, the, the sex scene in Blade Runner 2049. Oh. It's that exact same thing, basically. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, Scarlett Johansson's voice is a five. Mm -hmm. Everything is a five. As Samantha, though, she gets a four point five for me because she makes me sad. Because hmm. this movie makes me sad I mean, it's in four. a beautiful way. I mean, it's just four for confusing and sad. For sad. Juliette Binoche. Binoche. What have, Binoche? I, what have I seen her? Ah, uh, I have in something. I knew it when I looked it it's up, too. It's Michelle Haneke movie you've seen her in. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, uh, Cache, mm. uh, Hidden. She's great in that. She's also a four and a half. Uh, a lot of sh ghosts in the shell. Uh, it doesn't look like I've seen her in anything. Godzilla? I guess. I yeah, guess she's, I she's in Michelle Haneke. I suppose, I suppose I've seen that. In a sense. Uh, she's Fronge. Fronge. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Excuse moi. No, she's, uh, she's good. I like her. I'll give her a four just because I'm unfamiliar. Fair enough. She won an Oscar for the end. Helena Bonham Carter. As... Well, she looks completely different every time I see You're her. You're right. It's just like, she, in this one, she's Marla Singer. In this one, she's Tim Burton. In this one, she's just kind of normal looking, which is almost never. And to be fair, I picked the best possible picture of her. Yeah. That being said, in this picture, uh, 
3.75. I'm going to pass on rating this one just because I have no idea how to feel. She's just very, um... She, she's, she's Bellatrix, so I can't, like... Like, this is a four picture. Mm -hmm. Can't go that, though, because Bell Bellatrix Lestrange is, mm. like... You're meant to hate her, but not in a crappy way, like Joffrey. Yeah, and, and you hate her, like, for both reasons. Yeah. <laughs> Robert De Niro is Max and Kane Fear. <laughs> Who recommended this and why? <laughs> I think this was mine. And I just put it in here to fuck with us. Oh, God. Um, He's so greasy in this film. <laughs> Everything, everything that's not his face is pretty all right. Uh, I don't know. He rapes people. <laughs> that's all right. Yes, zero. Yeah. Negative four. And Vic Cripes. I don't even know who that is. Phantom Thread. Oh, oh. she a four. Sure, let's go with that. She looks like um. No Country for Old Men. Kelly McDonald? Yep. Well, she's a five, so... Yeah. McDonald. McDonald's. Really the only great thing about that episode of Black Mirror. Music. It, well, yeah. It's my favorite episode of Black Mirror. No one likes it. It's kind of boring. Christoph Waltz is Dr. King Schultz. Well, Christoph Waltz in any context is, is a five. Five. Um, and that, he's one of my favorite parts of that movie, so yeah, yeah. five. It's mostly for his voice. I find slavery abhorrent in most contexts. In most contexts. <laughs> Five. Five. Oh, three and a half, just because her character was the most useless thing. Um, she was, but she looks like that. She gets away with it. And normal Kate Blanchett always gets a five. Always. Blue Jasmine. Lord of the Rings. I'll agree with this. Brooklyn. Is, this is the only exception. No, Carol, not Brooklyn. This is the only exception to the rule. I just can't believe you can't get into death metal Kate Blanchett. I could if she was useful. <laughs> well. Nick <laughs> Cage is Sailor Ripley. Was that, was that you? No, it was not. It was everybody last, last night. People were talking about in the group chat. They are just like, who's hotter and wild at heart? Laura Dern or Nick Cage? Okay, first of all, Laura Dern <laughs> by a country mile. But Nicolas Cage in this movie is also a snake. <laughs> I was going to say, this so. is easily the best he's looked in a movie. Um, 3.5. I'll go 4. He always, he's always fun. Laura Dern in this movie is... He's the, he does things to me. He, he does. Uh, he, he's the only remarkable thing about this film. Yeah. Other than the cinematography and music, which is pretty stellar. Mm -hmm. Five. I, I, does more need to be said? One, two, three. Four, and look, I don't care as Lisbeth. Five, still. Yes, I, I don't care. I don't care. Punk, yes, please. Death Metal Edition. Yeah, yes, the real Death Metal Edition. Viggo Mortensen is Aragorn in Lord of the Rings. Mm, four, because boring. <laughs> um, he is definitely the least rounded character. He's more like Aragorn. <laughs> uh, I will also give him a four, uh, mainly because I don't touch me. <laughs> because I love Viggo Mortensen. Uh, if this was him in Eastern Promises, seven. He is. He's nude. In that film. Yes, he is. <laughs> Oh, you're... Somebody, <laughs> somebody knows how to get right in the heart. John Turturro is Pete in Over this the Room. Is that a yes? <laughs> of course. Where's Pappy O'Daniel? <laughs> Basically. I was just like, it's this or Delmar. Uh, five either way. <laughs> that don't make that no don't sense. That don't make no sense. Do not <laughs> seek the treasure. treasure! I think there's one more. Is that the last one? I am the last one. All right, that's it. Peace.
beaten to a horny toad. <laughs> oh, brother, where art thou? Is a seven out of five. Okay, it's a ten out of ten film. I'm about to smack no. you. I watched that and was immediately like, hey, I just watched Oh Brother, and then your first thing was just like 10. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes, of course. Anytime you see that lowly put on a Coen Brothers ranking, I'm like, you're false. Your, I don't... your entire list is discredited. I saw one list that had, um... You're gonna know it as soon as I say it. The weird one. The weird the one? Weird, Narrow the, it down. The weird one. The title. The weird title. Hudsucker Proxy? Yeah, okay. I saw one list that had Hudsucker Proxy above that, and I was just like, I don't even hate Hudsucker Proxy, and that's just stupid. <laughs> that's still open. Just one second. Okay. <laughs> Let your computer stop breaking. <laughs> <laughs> We got memes, kids. You might want to turn that down. No. No, you might want to turn that down. <laughs> I'll put it in the... Oh, that's how it starts. I was like, what is this smooth jazz? <laughs> Massive ear rape and offensive tasteless jokes. Well, they're really not that offensive. No, not that I remember. <laughs> Stop, Camilla. All right, never mind. You ruined the meme. I'll just put it in as like yeah. a cold ending. Be gone, fuck. Oh, Kit Kat. He's such authority. He knows. All right. Well, that was the stupidest thing that's ever been done on this channel. <laughs> oh, and we will find ways to make it dumber. There are always ways to be dumb. Life finds, finds a way. Alex Hirsch, please, please write Jurassic World. I would die. <laughs>